Hello Virgo, welcome, I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, Val 53 Tarot, which is read for you as well. Thank you. Let's see what's going on. You asking for a sign, Virgo? Oh, right away. Right away, you're showing me 666, Virgo. What is that? What is that about? Wow. There's the last six. So six, 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 six. All right. So jumping into this. What you do, show me. There definitely has been some sort of new beginning. And I don't exactly know what this new beginning is, but you feel like it is something that you absolutely want to explore and kind of find out. Um, I do see that whatever this new beginning is, you don't know where it's going. You don't know where the road or path will take you. Um, at the same time, I kind of feel like this is specifically regarding some sort of financial endeavor or pursuit. It's interesting. You don't know. It's kind of like you feel like you are, in a sense, carrying some sort of torch and I don't know what that torch is, but it's almost like your own beacon of hope, of faith, um, of what you're kind of, you know, striving for. What's interesting about this is you're saying that as you are carrying this idea forward, as it unfolds, you're beginning to, well, the unknown, it's almost like the unknown is beginning to actually grow on you, which is fascinating. Will you love it? Will you hate it? You're showing me, well, actually, I, I kind of do love it. Interesting. Um, and what's nice about this is there definitely is this energy of abundance, financial stability and security, which I do see as you consider how you want to kind of invest in the situation or invest in something here. You're, you're really kind of keeping it cool. And what I like about that, though, is there's this overall energy of just a huge confidence boost as things are moving forward and progressing for you. And once again, something financially is working out for you. It's nice. Um, even though there's a little bit of a change or a switch or a not necessarily it's not being the same, but it's not too bad. It's not too different. You're still pretty overall happy and fulfilled with it. You're kind of like, you know, every little bit, every little amount helps and every little bit you kind of look forward towards. Now, here's the thing, though. Even though you show me so much happiness to kind of move forward and try something new for yourself, whatever you do try for yourself, you're not too sure exactly how you feel about it. It's not an energy of like, will this work or not? It's just an energy of who you are and what you've done for yourself, Virgo. You want to take things in a new direction. And you do kind of show me that even though there's like this financial switch or transition or change kind of taking place currently, um, 
I feel like for you, whatever this new endeavor or pursuit or path is regarding who you are, you're going to find your answers very quickly. And I mean very, very quickly. Wow. Ooh, okay. I like that. It feels like, um, it feels like good news. Very, very, it feels like very, very good news. Oh, geez. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so there's definitely some sort of dynamic being played out as well between you and someone. Virgo, I'm looking at three, three, three as well as the sixes. So threes and sixes. Ooh, ooh. Um, what is that about? Goodness, 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 goodness. Um, It seems like you get good news. And that's what's interesting is, not to burst your balloon, Virgo, but even though there is so much excitement there, you are choosing to ultimately wait. Um, it, it does feel like you are definitely kind of committed and devoting yourself to something here. I don't know what that is. It's like you you want to move forward with something. There's a such a strong desire or passion to move forward with something. At the same time, energetically speaking, you're also kind of like energetically, I, I just, it's difficult, it's hard. Um, it's an uphill battle, if you will. But you, you are definitely kind of pushing through. You're pushing through to kind of figure out a way to kind of leverage everything that you gotta take care of. You're, you're kind of showing me this energy of um, your heart. Your heart is on the line here. Um, At the same time, because you are going through it and you are tired and kind of depleted, um, you're feeling the way you, you are. And so it kind of feels like, you know, are you letting yourself down? I don't know. Um, but it also kind of feels like you kind of have to close some sort of door. You're showing me this energy of like, mm, I don't really want to do that, but I feel like maybe it's just possibly necessary to kind of be done with something. Something has clearly run its course here. Um, don't know what that is, Virgo, but you definitely are closing some sort of chapter and you're making that ultimately decision to kind of take self inventory, so take self inventory and you're choosing to focus on your overall stability and security above all else. Um, now that being said though, you're trying to consider work wise and financial wise, what you ultimately want to do. And so you are doing some digging, you are doing some research and gathering information, um, but for some reason, at the same time, what's interesting is whoever you are with, whether I kind of feel like this is who you live with, the two of you definitely are seeing eye to eye with each other. And that's what's interesting is the difficulties and the painful times are bringing the two of you closer together. At the same time, though, um, the problems and the issues, I don't know if this is between the two of you or regarding the living situation or what's going on. Um, I'm not too sure if there is third party energy in this or not. I kind of feel like there could be. You're definitely on the fence as to what to do regarding the problems of the issues. It's an energy of should I stay or should I go? What do I kind of feel called to do? But even as you consider what you feel called to do, um, you can't help but feel the way you do, which is I am <laughs> overburdened, overstressed even more than I was before.
Yeah. Okay, Virgo, you're, you're making it very clear, which I do appreciate. Um, I do get that there are children and kids present. So this is a family situation or dynamic. There are children and kids present on both sides. Um, whew, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Goodness gracious. Um, I don't know what, geez Louise, I don't know what that is. How does that happen? Um, whew, okay, okay. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. There's the consideration of what you kind of feel called to do regarding the relationship, the commitment, or the family matter. What can be done to kind of bring everything and everyone together. Even though there is a lot of love there, yes. Um, there's also a lot of confusion as to what can be done regarding these issues. I do see that there is a desire to kind of work on things and try to piece things together. But here's where it gets a little bit interesting. There definitely is some sort of communication, talk, or discussion taking place between you and someone. And unfortunately, I kind of feel like this is a matter of maybe responsibility. I don't exactly know. But there's a response of, I just don't care. And this is where it gets a little bit interesting, Virgo. I just don't care. I don't know if it's an energy of responsibility, work, career, money, investments, what it is. Um... But what's fascinating about this energy of someone, because I'm not going to say it's you, Virgo, because I'm looking at a lot of people. Someone here is very just, I don't care. And there's the energy of like, well, what the fuck? And so someone, you, Virgo, I kind of feel like you, you feel like emotionally a little bit like, okay, that's a bit of a jab. Um, but at the same time, we are taking it day by day, so... I don't know exactly what is going on, Virgo. Um, a lot's going on clearly, but of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with a fire sign, an air sign, a water sign, or an earth sign. They're all here. Goodbye.